uh, kind of fundamental stuff that's been rumored is all there. So it's streaming based. Right. Uh, it is kind of any device you have that can stream. I guess, I guess technically they said it's any device that runs Chrome. Yeah. There right? was, there, yeah. All the all the pictures and stuff were in Chrome. Yeah. And they were. Yeah. So they had yeah they had a table with like what uh, basically a, a phone a Chromebook yeah a uh, full uh, gaming tablet. PC a tablet and a TV. And yeah, the, the idea of just like you can take it from one to the yeah. next. And had a guy just go down the line playing the same game on yeah. each screen in yeah. succession. Google Pixel XL. <laughs> I got one. Um, I have a television. My iPhone so runs Chrome. Just, yeah. Yourself a Chromecast. They're saying uh, no. At, <laughs> at launch, it'll do 4K 60. 60 frames per second with HDR and surround sound. Yep. They brought uh, Marty Stratton from id Software out to say Doom Eternal will be out on the platform and do all that stuff. So. 4K 60. It's hard to find a twitchier game than, mm. well, you than know, Doom. Yeah, 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 I guess so. I guess, yeah. So if they're confident it's going to work, right? then there you go. They showed off the controller, which was a, whatever. Like, controllers are controllers for the most part. But the thing that really, really interesting to me about it was the Wi-Fi connectivity, yeah. uh, which is the way you would transfer between... You know your console, uh, your TV, and your phone, or whatever. Yeah. Like yeah. the so way that's connecting directly to the service right. itself. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was. That, that also it. removes a layer of latency because you're not connecting controller to device, then to them. Right. Controller goes straight to them. True. Yeah. Uh, uh, is, but is, is, that also confuses. Uh, there, there was one slide that said that you can use your own controller yeah. or any yeah. controller that you want. They said over USB. Over USB. Which, does that mean you're going to have to buy their controller if you want to go wireless? Yeah, I do not know. That, I would assume any controller that connects to a PC the standard way would yeah. work. Um, okay. And on phones, you know, that's not you're not going to USB a controller into sure. your phone. Yeah. So I, I assume that's just like a incorrect turn of phrase or something along yeah. those lines, but, but who knows? We, yeah. you know, that's, that's what they said, so stick to that, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I missed the but beginning the, of the talk. Do they say how, is it all about just this just awesome back of technology suite, yeah. or do they talk about like how people will access, access the games as well? Did they talk about that part? They didn't or? talk about, like, hey, Much will you later. buy the games? Or, or But yeah, they did talk about a store a little bit later okay. on, but they, they at no point did they say anything about, like, hey, it's a subscription service, hey, it's this, hey, it's that. It's really just... Um, you know, hey, you, you know, the Google Play Store. The thing they showed that, that was cool, at the, I think it was at the beginning, was they, like, you watch the trailer for the new Assassin's Creed, and at the end, there's a big play button, and you just I click So, like, the YouTube integration it. in terms of just, like, point of sale type stuff, you know, being a developer-focused talk, uh, right. you know, it makes sense to show some of that stuff, and they didn't really get into specifics, because I think the thing that... Like, I want to know about, and not that it necessarily impacts me, um, but it's just, like, what's their cut... Does their cut go up or down if you were like, because they talk about like, hey, the cloud is limitless potential. You could use multiple GPUs and so on and so forth. It's like, okay, well, if I use one that's going to take up two full racks, am I giving 80% of my money to Google yep. to run the game? Or is it going to be a flat rate? Or is it a flat rate that like, hey, when they're entrenched two years from now, yep. suddenly those rates skyrocket? Are, how do you develop for that? Yep. Are you expected to replicate that hardware internally for all your development? Right. Or do you rent that space to... to develop for it or or is it free to develop on their platform for now and then someday when you know two years later when they don't need that do they, are you suddenly paying them for I, that? i would or, like yeah. to think that as they are out there taking meetings with a bunch of developers this week that seems right, like the sort right of down stuff the street. That they would, exactly yeah, yeah like people like developers will start kind of leaking some of those terms because yeah i would also love to know that stuff seems like a natural way to get some exclusivity for their platform if they're oh, such, totally, if yeah. you can do something crazy hardware wise so that that, that was stuff. the most exciting thing to me going into this about that is that yeah you're not bound to what people can physically ship in a GPU and afford to buy off a shelf, you know, like yep. it's just data center racks of servers that were never intended to sit in somebody's house. Right. So yeah. now, now you can make games that could never run on a computer that most people could afford. Yeah. You, know? you talk about like player counts and the stuff that's being limited just by like, okay, we have to do this client server architecture that has to live on people's, you know, underneath people's televisions. You're getting limited to, okay, 64 players, hundred players, like, you know, that sort of stuff. I, I, they use the phrase thousand player battle royale. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Which, you know, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I try once use that term. So. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, why wouldn't you? You know, yeah. yeah, of course. Like, uh, but then that gets into just like, okay, do you eventually get to like true MMOs, like no shards? You do you get back there to oh, like uh, sure. where suddenly every player is in a total shared just universe. Like, like an MMO with potentially millions of people in the exactly. same world. Yeah. So Jeez. game design some sort of a second life. Mm. Mm. Some sort of there.com. <laughs> uh <laughs> Whatever it was in Ready Player One. Yeah. The Wasteland. Hypnospace. No, space. I guess what they called it. Yeah. Space. That's exactly what it was. Uh, as a develop, I was curious about the portal stuff because you've hear this phrase has been 
bandied about about the Netflix of games, and I was wondering if Google's like, this is our play for Netflix of games. It is a sub- subscription service. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, like business, no business, business model talk, no ownership yeah, games, no. none of that stuff. Is that, I, they're going to really be back this that, summer though. with some more information and some more about, like, ex- games, like, games and stuff, yeah. and I okay. feel like that might be a time. But, you know, that, that was already like a pretty dense presentation. I yeah. think it probably would have overloaded and, all that. You know, developer-focused. Yeah. Back ended, you know, with that, that then kind of pushes into individual meetings with right. developers where I'm sure they get specific about terms or, or more specific about that sort of stuff. They had a lot of cool uh, features that like, like, you know, the, the basic streaming stuff is the stuff we've all heard about and expected, but like, I'm trying to think, you know, they, I like the one with the multi split yeah, screen. So they thing, mentioned like, like, they mentioned like what s- everyone else is doing. Yeah, like split screen can come back where every player's split of the screen has its own computer dedicated to that's it. Awesome. So there's yeah, a performance great. hit. Yeah. Talking about like letting you set an independent camera in somebody else's game and zoom around like that could be really cool for like esports spectating and stuff like that. Um, what else? Like save game hands off, handoff. Yep. Like, right. Developers or streamers being able to like hand off a save game to you to play yourself in seconds. Which know, then like, seems like the sort yeah. of thing that like if you were building a demo for a game, you would just say, "Here's the save state. I want players to be able to load and they can play it for X number of minutes before it shuts off and says buy the game." Or it's like post game, uh, uh, post launch stuff. Like you know, you, right. you set up like a certain scenario. Hey, you've got to beat it in this many turns or something like that. This, this uh, certainly like it, it, it's weird how many things this like eradicates without you thinking about it. Like you'll never have to patch a game again. Yeah, <laughs> the like, one right? I never see. Yeah. You'll never watch a patch download again. The, the save state thing that I thought of immediately was like it's this is the last game of Grand Finals of Evo, and yeah. now you can play it and see if like you could have beat Daigo. I or was whatever. totally Just thinking like, when they were talking about latency. I was like, all right, bring Daigo out and make him do the parry <laughs> thing <laughs> on stage over a screen. <laughs> Uh, I, I would still need a patch games, by the way, Brad. You would as <laughs> yeah, a player. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 The player would never have to. We need to patch him even more. Of course. Yeah, of course. They showed up the Google Assist uh, thing where you could kind of, at the push of a button, yeah. and say, like, I'm stuck on level six. How do I beat it? And yeah. then they'd sh- serve you up the top YouTube result for how do so, I beat which level is, six. Is like, see, it feels like there's a better way for that if you if you had the data, but they're pushing it off to, like, hey, community YouTube videos. But yeah. like, so I the, feel like the ideal thing there is you push the button and say, I'm stuck here, and it says, here's what you do. Not, here's a video that probably shows you what you do. The, so Kotaku ran a, like, a roundup of rumors they had heard yesterday about yeah. this, and the way that works, according to them, is that it supposedly will jump you to spot in a video that shows you exactly what to do yeah i don't know how they i don't know how well the game figures that visual out. matches right yeah, i mean I guess so. if you're you know if you know what every part of a game looks like because you've had ai stare at it for hundreds of hours right if someone says they're stuck here you can jump to that video uh you can jump to that portion of that video and do, and do that sort of stuff right um and, and or you know you end up in a situation where you have people that are uploading to youtube tagging videos a certain way um, to yeah. be like, hey, this is this part of this game, but but that's probably something that if you're playing the game on their platform to create that content, it knows where you made it from, it knows where you were in the game when you made it, it knows all that stuff too. Yeah, is there uh, uh, yeah. is there a literal streaming button on that controller, or there's like there, a, some kind of capture a button, sharing 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 kind of button? You know, they, they, button. they basically said, I mean, this I guess this is a no brainer. Like anybody playing a game on this thing can also just stream it instantly yeah right. and it doesn't it like streams from another from them yeah yeah unless like, it's a square game in which case the cutscenes are probably blocked <laughs> you know yeah i'm, I'm, yeah, sure, I'm sure, sure that they, they <laughs> well, i wonder i mean you know maybe they're the big enough like company to come through and be like no fuck it <laughs> like we're not going to integrate blocking into this right. thing well, just deal like with if, it if you want a game on our service you have to let people yeah. stream the whole thing yeah I, th- I think it was one of you two who pointed it out but uh shout out to ubisoft for showing up at the launch of a new console yeah. as a they quote do unquote console yeah. like showing full support as they do one um, of the most exciting things for me is that there's no investment you know i don't have to go out and get a part-time job to to get this new console yeah. you yeah. know um I've got like a Chromecast at home. I've got an app that I can put on my phone to You've check this out. You've got a wired controller. <laughs> this, yeah, this sounds like it, there's like no barrier to entry. It, this it, is great. Yeah. yeah. It's also the death of game ownership. I was going to say the flip side <laughs> yeah. of that is people uh, out there buying like limited run games and, you know, the kind of yeah, well, boutique or, or, physical or, copies of or, stuff or are like, going to hate this. Or like, hey, I, I want to like continue to play this game in perpetuity as yeah. long as this hardware holds up. Like yeah. suddenly that's, that is which is already fading away as games transition into live services and stuff anyway. Yeah. But you know, the idea of like, okay, I could get a copy of this game onto a hard drive and play it whenever I want. Sure. Uh, yeah. If this is your only gaming platform and your internet goes out, you have literally nothing to do with it. You yeah. Can't, you can't, there's no single player game. There's no nothing to fire up. Right. Yeah. So uh, you can play that dinosaur game. 
Cool. Oh, what yeah. is that? <laughs> That's it's a, a, like, it's a it, dumb thing built into Chrome. Yeah. Okay. If there's no internet and you try and get on Chrome, you can. That's what I was wondering about the portal stuff because if it does turn into a subscription thing, then uh, mm. it cha- it would completely change the way people make games. Uh, right. Because uh, if everything's kind of free to play at that point, yeah, uh, it's all about like you can't count on if someone spends tens of dollars on your game, you can count on them trying it for a while because they like I spent all this money, I'm going to try it. Yeah. Um. And but if instead someone's just trying it for free you're looking at what's happened in the mobile game space. Like you better make sure that like your onboarding funnel is the phrase is as optimized as possible. Like, uh, I might have your attention for 15 seconds. How do I, how do I keep it? And if you got to 30 seconds, like what, what, how many actions have you done? When did you fall off on in this onboarding funnel? How can we do to optimize it? And all of a sudden these games that like a lot of modern games have really bad tutorials. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's okay oh, because sure, yeah. I've already spent money. I'm just going to fight my way through it because I know up ahead is some amazing other investment you did instead. And so now it's going to be all about tutorials again and onboarding ramps if it turns into a subscription service. Well, I wonder if that's even if it's not a subscription service, but like if that becomes the demo that you feed to players, like do you suddenly have to like, hey, that demo needs to be. Yeah, do you have to make it? Like, like, but also, but also yeah. you're getting zillions of data points back about awesome. that demo and if we can watch gameplay like the thing you mentioned about sharing a save like that is awesome because like we have so many players helping us out with underworld ascendant right now mm-hmm. getting it making it better and if we could instead of saying hey could you just start this game from the beginning you say like hey we did this neat thing on the third level like how oh, here's a save, save like and then we can watch what you do right maybe huh. split screen it and see what everyone's doing wow. oh as a dev tool that that just that data just helps make the game get better and it kind of takes the aspect of like hey do you have some weird configuration issue is your computer different oh, totally, than the norm yeah. that break like that that type of qa yep huh. is gone uh in theory in theory yeah. there weren't no more driver updates uh, except for you're probably not just shipping on this platform so then it becomes oh, yeah. like okay now you need to do work to get it everywhere and except that's, that's the other challenge except, as an indie dev is like all right what what's the investment to yeah, support yeah. this platform as well but yeah like it got out there and said it took him a couple of weeks to get doom up and running on but that thing in. but they're it yeah. yeah uh they're bethesda yeah i mean that, that's all true except when you are only shipping on that platform because right so they've hired jade raymond as a vp who's running um games the, and games and entertainment is it yeah, great the, to see uh, that the phrase group is that the name of it stadia it, games and entertainment yeah so that's their publishing arm Yep. Yeah. Uh, so it sounds like they will be signing exclusive deals with developers to make that games. was Stadia Partners. So that, oh. that was their aspect of just like, okay, we're going to do deals with external. But it yeah. was also like, hey, we're probably going to buy some people or yeah. build some teams. Well, yeah, she didn't. Yeah, she said she just used the phrase like first party studios yeah. or something. So yeah, that implies either they will be putting teams together or buying them, as well as an MP3 site and a TV site. <laughs> yeah, the, oh, the, the full genie cover all your bases. Yeah. Google Medicare. Yep. Oh, yeah. I mean that actually. I mean when you bring that up like that drives home how like how much google has already infiltrated everyone's lives and how many different ways they can push this at people you know like they're they've already been out there like you know sign up for google play music you get free youtube red you know like if they yeah. just start packaging more and more of these services together with like you know sign up for google music you get a new right, assassin's creed right, <laughs> right like lop five dollars off here and there like it's kind of frightening these sort of like aggressive deals they could offer to get people right. into this thing you could also if you were google you could probably go out and make deals like and say like hey you know, for the first year or so, just to get people in the service, let's set it up. So, hey, you bought this game on Steam and we're going to give you free access to the 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 Stadia. I keep saying Playdia because the Bandai Playdia was yeah. a platform. Uh, mm-hmm. But the, yeah, you, you, we will also give you the Stadia version of it or whatever just to get you in. It's also another chance for them to put this is probably their best chance of getting a device in my home that has a microphone. Sure, that, con- that controller. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I've, I've, I've dodged all that they, stuff. Did so they far. say it had yeah. one? I don't know. Well, but it probably it, does. It's, it it does, has yeah. to. Everything has so. a microphone now. Yep. They did. They did. So the microphone they did, on the they did. Yeah. Okay. I have no internet of things in my oh. house. And nice. Yeah. You should get some things, right? And then disconnect them and put them under a <laughs> Faraday cage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, put them in a DMZ. And my phone, obviously, is the one. Yes. Yeah. Is the microphone right next to the Konami code? Yes, it is. Yeah, they put the Konami code on the bottom of the controller. Yeah, At least what in that, that mean? Silly. I don't know. I don't know. Try and find here's out. a video game thing. You remember that? Yeah. Remember old video games? Yeah, before we destroyed like, what they are. This weird thing of just like 
hey, like, is, is that a credibility thing? Is that really on the back of the controller, or was it just in that image? Yeah, maybe that was just for Or that. either way, are they doing it as some kind of weird cred thing? Like, we know the code. Yeah. Do you? Like, you know, like that. Uh, you know, like, like that, I would say the majority of that presentation was remarkably free of that kind of attitude. Yeah. For the most and part. When it, the most but when it popped up, it was like well, that, completely. They, they did compartmentalize it into one presenter. Yeah, they did. <laughs> the, the rest of it felt pretty grounded and like... I like the the machine learning art style exploration that involved Pac Man. That was wild. Yeah, yeah. That, was, yeah. that was cool. Yeah. I don't see. I don't know how like you'd need it for more than a week as a game developer. But <laughs> obviously, I don't know enough about what it does. But like right. like that first bit of just like here, take a texture and just throw it. We'll throw it across your entire game for you. Like that. That's awesome. Yeah, like, yeah. I'd love to play with that. Mm -hmm. The scary aspect of that to me is the potential to automate the art process. <laughs> Well, I mean, what that might do. There's going to be so much fine tuning that. That's but involved, yeah, sure. But yeah, um, yeah it, can, it can give you some really good ideas on where to go for like a theme, yeah. you know, or an art, art style. Yeah, and it's you know, it, it then it just becomes like how robust is the tech? How you know how resilient is it on bad internet? We yeah, have heard yeah. reports that yeah. people from with average to like not great internet have still had pleasant experiences yeah. with yeah. Google's tech. Um, we saw plenty of stream glitches just during the stream that we watched. You know, that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, going to be yeah, something some... that happens during gameplay. Right. You know, that's something that we're going to have to. I mean, but does that happen with. less often than, say, you know, Anthem crashing and turning off a PS4? Yeah, you know, right. or, yeah. or, or, or do we get that too? We're like, oh, whoops, we pushed a bad build to Google's blades and now the whole thing yeah, is on I mean, fire software you know? crashes like they're never yeah. gonna, they're never gonna iron out every bug. So. Yeah. But if you only have to test against like yeah, that platform, yeah. yeah. Is that easier? I started to say they would at least have the stability of consoles, but I don't know if that's necessarily a great yeah. comparison point at the moment. <laughs> game 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 developers traditionally have you know bigger eyes than their stomachs, so yeah, there, sure. there's always that trade off. Like, sure. oh, we could fix all these bugs. Oh, we could get this one more thing in. Another yeah. thing I thought of during the break is, I mean, if you go by their kind of B roll or their you know their kind of sizzle reel mm -hmm. of their data centers, like these things live on racks, yeah, like physical racks. Do you ever hit a point where you try to play during prime time and they're like, hey, all of our instances are busy. Right. Sit, sit in this queue until one frees up so you can play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's a good problem for them to have, right? Yeah, sure. Um, sure. For them to have, but not for us. <laughs> right. I mean, but that, presumably but that, that's a temporary thing of just yeah. like, okay, they're like, oh, we got to build out more. Throw another rack in there. there. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Until we reach a future where like basically all of Nevada and Utah is just one big <laughs> server farm. Well, that was yeah. going to happen anyway. Yeah. yeah. I think that's we're most of the way there. But they just use it for drones now. Soon mm -hmm. they're going to use it for Assassin's Creed's. <laughs> Kind of the same thing. Yeah, yeah, if you think about it. Um, yeah, and then, you know, you start to get into the uh, the the bad business of internet and net neutrality and all other stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, does Google just go in and cut a bunch of deals with ISPs to put the server for racks into the ISPs mm. um, so that it is not traveling over public internet, so it is less expensive, so that they are getting their hooks deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into uh, everything. Because Lord knows if anyone can like cut a deal with ISP. If anyone's out there is powerful enough to yeah. cut that kind of a deal with ISPs, it's Google. It's Google. Uh, this it reminds me of of Riot. Uh, they at one point said that they were going to try to build their own internet. Yeah. yeah. For League. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Just like, okay, we need lower latency. We need to build our own internet. We're we're working on it. Uh, Google seems like they already maybe have kind of done that in a like a weirdly <clears throat> quieter but somehow yeah, darker they, way they harped and harped on how many data centers they have and how distributed they are and how close you will be to them yeah as if just you know i mean trying to drive home they're like hey this thing's low latency it'll play right but also yeah it is mm -hmm. a little scary to see you, you gotta the think they, they won't ship everywhere. it unless it unless it yeah they yes. figure that out yeah, yeah. most people yes. uh, yeah right yeah uh and yeah, we we did see a lot of people saying that the the test they ran with assassins and some some other stuff that I've I've heard that it works. No, it's yeah. just the 1080p test. Like we haven't heard anything about the 4K. Yeah, you sure. Know. sure. Least they seem yeah. confident in that. I know. As well. But I, is that I a just, thing that a lot of people mm, care about? Because it's just not on my no, radar. At all. I, just, okay. I still have a 1080p TV. Yeah. 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 Good. Same. Uh, yeah, um, I have a 4K TV. And, yeah, like it's it's not going to make any difference on my phone or anything like right. that. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but my TV. Oh, yeah, I don't I don't so know that that would be a limiting factor for people to get into this right. thing. Uh, if like they, they don't care, they're going straight to eight K. <laughs> yeah, just said it yeah. right. Yeah, um, but presumably they've done all the bandwidth math. Like that's yeah. that's all that is at some point is yeah. just like looking at infrastructure, which admittedly is pretty bad. Sure. I I was I mean this was for no particular reason, but I was looking at ten gigabit network hardware over the weekend. So like that shit's coming. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The world's getting crazy.
but it, it's but also like that there's disparity there like you know yeah. you have gigabit ethernet but plenty of other people don't you know they're, they're yeah. only committing to what is it US UK Canada and Europe parts of most Europe, most of Europe, Europe I think is what they said um, you know that's yeah but again you know we have people writing in saying like hey I've got a 40 megabit connection and it was totally fine for me right so yeah I got 80 I think 80 yeah. up 80 so down they, on they speed seem, test. they seem to yeah. be feeling good about it yeah and then you know we'll we'll see I, the, the ultimate push is probably like 5g mobile like that sort of stuff like getting people playing on those devices with that type of latency and that type of performance is, is probably where their ultimate goal is like they talk a big game about 8k and all that other stuff because that's what people care about right now but i'm sure they're sitting here thinking like okay when we get that mobile infrastructure out there and upgraded and where it needs to be like then you'll see some serious shit everywhere you go um with that coverage well yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, sure uh yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's a lot of the stuff that we kind of knew that this was going to be. Um, maybe more kind of roundly um, collecting together Google's other services in a way that I hadn't anticipated. Yeah. But you kind of you kind of know what that stuff is. But there's something about it, like like I said when we were streaming it, like I am scared is not the word like yeah there's something off-putting about this whole thing like it's it's exciting in a way like oh you know a lot of new game designs and ideas are capable are are, are available to developers when you start offloading that stuff onto the internet uh and that's potentially really cool and but there's just something very dark about all this that as someone who's been playing games for a very long time like i'm left like a little shook and just like like this feeling of just like my whole body kind of clinched up watching parts of those that thing. Yeah, I, I am with you. And like, I haven't like, really. Like it's, there's, it's it's not about whether it works or not. I'm, I'm yeah. I'm I, confident that it will work fine. There's I, just something about the business of games and yeah. all this other stuff that just go like uh, this is the thing that like really completely f- giving up physical media. You know, th- yeah. th- there's a lot of like you know like core values. I guess like <laughs> yes. I mean, that yeah. was I was gonna say like I'm with you, and I suspect the primary reason is is because we're old. Like Maybe. this is not I'm this is still, not how it, games worked as you know for the last yeah. thirty years. There's something scary about like giving like handing years. Google the keys, yeah, handing yeah. any one company or well, this, two companies, however many like because uh, the minute you're streaming that stuff, they can shut off whatever yeah. they want yes. whenever they want for a variety of reasons. Uh, and and I don't really get too big on the ownership stuff because so many games have become live services that you you know you, you someday you're not going to be able to play Destiny. Yeah, anymore. Destiny is worthless if they shut the servers. Down. Exactly, like you can't it's do anything. Like, yeah, with you it. can get it on a disc, yeah. but unless someone cooks up a private server for it, so that's which should, that's the thing is like that's well, still yes. yes. Now you don't even have a local copy of the game. Exactly. Yeah. Like yeah. I mean, yes. The 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 reasonable way to phrase this is that it upends like every aspect of game, game ownership huge and privacy concerns and, yeah, like, like just the, it checks so many boxes for just like dark future yeah. uh for me along with checking a lot of boxes of just like oh there's a lot of really new exciting potential yeah. here yeah. that i'm so fucking torn yeah uh but like i said there's a feeling in the pit of my stomach that feels bad mm-hmm. and i i can't quite articulate why no, I, I think but I'm, this I'm with you. feels <laughs> dark cyber future in the in the bad way and the good way yeah. and i i don't know i don't know man it, it seems like how many seems like the kind of just don't give a shit yeah like the kind of right. thing oh, that totally. that's people, people people yes, I, yeah that's pro- part of why i'm like Ugh. yeah people yeah. that are Most coming of age like, with this it. like yeah they will not even notice yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but i'm i'm with you but I, it's not about the you know i don't know that it's necessarily like an old man thing mm. there's other than just like maybe I am looking at it and seeing some bad shit that is potential that some like potentially bad things that come of this um, just because I've been staring at all this stuff for as many years as I have that maybe other people aren't like that's the only aspect of this that I think would be age related. It's, it's not like like I'm totally up for it. Yeah. Like play any game anywhere any screen like all that stuff like fucking let's do it like that's awesome. That's like fun cool future stuff. Huge networked worlds, thousands of players, millions of players, whatever the fuck. Like, let's fucking go. Like, get rid of all this like player limit shit. Sixty four player. Like, like let yeah. Like, let's do it. That part I'm super stoked for. The part where it's maybe it is just literally the part where it's Google. Hmm. Like something about it feels fucking real bad. From a like where the internet has gone privacy wise and and all this other stuff. Like there are so many aspects of this that 
Just, uh, just that company in particular, of, or just, feel, just one company? I'm kind of with you, but I also think there are basically four companies in the world that could do this. Totally. And none of them yeah. are especially friendly, you're, like you're right. kind and gentle and no, fuzzy yeah, exactly. and warm. I mean, yeah. I mean, that doesn't, what you're saying doesn't like <laughs> no, nullify the feeling. Yeah. It yeah. actually makes it worse. So, uh, yeah. There's a great documentary about this mm. called Sequest DSV. Okay. <laughs> where huh. in uh, this one particular part of it where uh, they try out their submarine is taken to the future by a supercomputer because the supercomputer needs their help saving mankind. Of course. Because there's been a powerful central computer that everyone plays video games on mm -hmm. uh, to the point where no one goes outside anymore and there's just one man and one wo woman left on the entire planet. Yeah. Uh, I forget what the episode's called, but uh, it's one of my favorite reference points for or how about video, video games wrecking the future. How about the game, if we want to you know, <laughs> bring it home to Star Trek, something you, you're maybe slightly more familiar with. For sure, for sure. Uh, well, the children save us in the game. Uh, the children aren't going to save us yeah. this time. No, no actually, actually, no, actually you know, Noah Wheaton this time. Yeah. Yep. I don't know, man. That's like that's no joke. That's like one of the highlights of my career is getting that Easter egg into Star Trek timelines <laughs> that yeah. you can play the game on your phone. Yeah, you know, that's that's fantastic. It, it's amazing. It took that long for it to happen, and now it's probably happened a bunch with VR headsets. But yeah, you know. yeah, I was gonna say like, where's like the Magic Leap version of the game? Yep, someone made it down there. <laughs> yeah. you know they did. Yeah, yep. For the four people that have a Magic, but I want to watch that Sequest episode. Hearing all this talk, I think it see if it's any good. Yeah. It was a real thing. I didn't make it up. That's no, that's a, no, yeah. I believe you. That will be our guidepost for how the future will yeah. go. Yeah. We'll, we'll watch that, and I think it'll answer a lot of questions it about will. where Google's okay. going. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, this whole thing is exciting and kind of alarming at the same time. Yeah. It's, yeah, because it it's changes like fundamentally. Yeah. Oh, man. How we, how we... One of probably, I mean, if this thing takes off, like one of the biggest changes to the business model totally ever like you know people talk about like oh when games went hd it was a big deal when they right. went polygonal that's a big deal like this is like potentially dev yeah yeah this is the shit that eradicates everything that came before it type yeah. stuff yeah. you know and like people are like what you had to hook up a thing to a thing yeah. i just got that built into my stuff that i already use yeah. for the porno <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, what hey, yeah <laughs> um yeah <laughs> See where it goes. I wish I, I wish they'd had a game or two to announce. Quite honestly, like when when Jade Raymond came out at the end, like when she said like we will be building teams. Like I was hoping for like oh we have brought so and so on board. Like I was I was hoping to hear a couple names. Yeah, there's got to be something at E3. They do yeah, have that, yeah. that demo. Yes, sure, it's like sure. a just fully destructible city. You can fly around and shoot buildings yeah. in, and it's playable there. Okay, so sure, we'll probably see some reports from that. As I, I don't know. I guess, I guess I don't necessarily want Google to acquire studios, but it would have been like a crazy thing to hear. Like oh we bought. It's cute. Like, Konami. That was <laughs> well, yeah, but that the first thing when the the rumor started hitting about Sony buying Take Two, mm. uh, and then them denying. I was like, actually, like I, the first thing I thought I had was like, Google would outspend them for it. Sure. Like, if Google's going to get into this hard, then they're going to be the ones to buy Take Two. Yeah, but uh, maybe if, if, take, if anyone, if anyone will buy Take Two, I mean, maybe they're. Maybe they're big enough name and they are offering enough cool features and radical shit you can't get anywhere else. They're better off building those teams from the ground up because they can attract the talent sure. without having to pay for the studios. Yeah, I imagine there's a lot of developers out there who would love to be on the like cutting edge of this. Yeah. Like if it's really as revolutionary yeah. as they say it is. Because everything about this says they are going to see this through. Like nothing about this seemed like it was Oh yeah. Dipping yeah. a toe in, you know, they no. seem very, very committed to this. Yeah. So I mean, you, you could make the case, though, that Google did big, splashy rollouts of th a lot of things over the years that they Google shut Plus. the fuck out. Google Plus, yeah. Google Buzz. Yeah. yeah. Fair. Fiber. Fair. Yeah. Yes. Google Fiber. Fair. Yeah, exactly. They do yes. have actually, yes, box. quite a yeah. track record. But, um, uh, but I mean, they don't, they don't go to this amount of trouble without shipping some hey, games. Hey, they need it. Yeah. Right. I mean, that, but that's the other thing is, like, if it doesn't immediately take off, do they shut down and, like, oh, I bought all these games, now they're gone, just like they are when, like, you know, I can't play... 32 bit iOS games on my phone anymore. Does, yeah. it, does it go like that? I'm just like, Fart Cat's been ported to 64 bit. Thank so you. you. I wow. saw that. Oh, I'm I had no idea. Excited. Wow. Yep. We uh, did. Man. We did that. That's, that's the best. Summer Camp Studio slogan. We did. The, we did. We did that. <laughs> that's the best news I've heard all day. You're welcome. Um, and it's now free to play. Oh, no kidding. But like free as in like it doesn't cost anything. Not just, that we put a bunch of free to play mechanics yeah, it's in just, to gouge you. It's just, it's, it's there. It's free. No, I think, I think the word you're looking for is free. It's a free game. Yep. Um, yeah, they have freemium. They say it's launching this year, so they might be the first one. There's got to be a big thing in E3 then. There's yeah, got to be. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Yep. 
But unless, I mean, Microsoft never gave any time frame for their thing, right? They're going to they're gonna have tests of some sort this year, I think, is all they've okay. committed to. So Google might be the first one with a full functional Launched. service out there, um, uh, depending on pricing and what they're offering. Well, like, see, you know, like Microsoft, you know, the, the, there was talk that they had that diskless Xbox One X, or yeah. Xbox One S, rather, yeah. um, and, and maybe they start to, well, no maybe about it. They will, they will tip their hand more soon. Yeah. Um, yeah, they kind of have to now. Yeah, I, I think they were already planning on it, but mm-hmm. but yeah, for sure. Some exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. Yeah. Uh, very. Don't know how to feel. We don't like to use the word paradigm shift. Ah. <laughs> it totally is, though. Uh, but it has the, yeah. It's, it's outside it's, the box, it's literally. Got, it's got the marketing. It's literally you know, right? outside yeah. the box. Right. Literally. Yeah. How do they not have, like the website, if you go to it, it says like the future of gaming is not a box. <laughs> nice. Which is like clumsy when they could have, you, you if you if you see any Google people let's this week, Susie you can... Ryder a call. let's give yeah. Susie Ryder a call. Yeah, yeah we're here to help. Um, yeah, that seems like a story we will be talking about for some time. Yeah, exciting. Um, 